with another video so for today's video is about what's on my macbook and i'm sorry guys forgive me if this macbook that i'm going to be showing you is a very old one i actually just bought this from facebook this is a second hand model that i just got from facebook for a very cheap price and this one is actually not that looking okay but i made it a little bit look cute because i designed or put some stickers on it so i hope you guys will still like how how my macbook looks right now so this is it this is a 12 inch macbook this is their very or the thinnest macbook model that you guys can buy that apple has made so this is how thin it is actually my phone is much thicker than this macbook if you guys can see that's the difference of how thick the iphone 11 is and the macbook that i bought and to make it a little bit to make it a little bit cute i put some stickers on it to hide some of the dents the scratches i just bought these stickers on shopee using this device as well as edit videos using this so this is what one moment show you guys the specs or the specification of this exact macbook this is a macbook air i forgot what year it was Oh, it is early 2015 and it's running with Mac OS Big Sur with 8 gigabytes of memory or RAM. That's it. So please <laughs> um, just ignore this stuff right over here. We're not going to be talking about that. We're going to be talking about the stuffs that I installed here on this MacBook to make it very useful for me even though the age of this MacBook is really old. MacBook is Arabic variant as you guys can see on the keyboards there's Arabic characters on it and I guess what they call the keyboard is the butterfly keyboard and if you turn off the light you can you can literally see the keyboards lighting up but right now it's not possible because it's very bright and I'm using a ring light to film this video but anyways moving on I'm gonna show you guys what I have on my MacBook let me just adjust it a little bit so we can have a better view on the screen all right okay let me just wipe the screen because there's fingerprints i have lowered the exposure settings of my camera so you guys can be able to see what i have or what i'm showing you in my screen so let's start in the home screen whenever you open the macbook we have this view i have these folders here this one is for frequency sounds this is like a um, collection of frequency sounds that i just found on tiktok and i believe that they're kind of useful 
for manifestation so I saved some of those sounds and I have this cilantro folder that's a secret and I have my 2025 vision board already created and I also have six months of content ideas and this untitled folder which I'm not gonna tell you guys what it's about I also have personal documentations I have all my ideas um, scanned and compiled on this file I have my passport um, other government IDs that are important because sometimes we need them we need to submit them on some other apps such as Facebook especially um, like three months ago I tried to be verified on Facebook but it's not really that useful and it's just a waste of money and I just literally stopped it and this is a recent transaction of payment that I have screenshotted and then next here on the launch pad here we can see all the apps that I have in this MacBook these are all the default apps but I have one app that I can recommend you guys in downloading this is called Raycast this is like um, the spotlight and you can use it to search anything on your MacBook. This is much faster than the Spotlight or the um, native app that Apple has, which is called Spotlight. This one, you can literally search anything and you can search from Google right, um, right away using this app. So other than that, let's move on i have google chrome as my alternative browser because um actually since this macbook is already old guys some of the websites are not working using safari anymore so i need to use chrome in order to be able to um access or not access but be able to smoothly use that exact website that I'm trying to access for example sometimes whenever I'm playing on Netflix on Safari Safari browser you will notice that the screen is flickering I don't know what's the reason why it's doing that but whenever I use Chrome it's much way better and there is literally no issues at all so that's what I'm using Chrome for and I'm using Chrome as well for uploading videos or for uploading my videos on YouTube. Next, I have net. Sorry, Messenger. I have Messenger and the App Cleaner. This one is also very helpful whenever you're trying to um, uninstall apps, especially when they. Oh well, yeah, um, I'm using App Cleaner for deleting apps that are from third party that I haven't um, used. The app store for downloading for especially Ray. Um, for example, this Raycast I downloaded it using Safari or Chrome. Um, you can definitely use this app cleaner to uninstall them. And this rectangle app is for um. For example, guys, the rectangle app actually natively MacBook cannot be able to do this you can just be able to adjust it manually like this it does not magically resize your windows like this so we need that rectangle app in order to be able to multitask with different windows but on windows you don't actually need this app because natively Windows already be having this feature without needing to download any app. So that's the example of the use of that rectangle app. Other than that, we have all of the default um, apps that's already pre-installed whenever you buy an 
a MacBook. Another thing, we do have cup. This is for um, screen recording. This one is dozer. Um, I actually forgot what is this for. Oh my god, I don't know what is it for. Yeah, I remember now. This is the dozer app. Um, sometimes whenever you're up downloading apps on MacBook, special, especially when they are for um, accessibility, you will have those um, icons up above your menu bar. So we use the dozer app in order to hide some of the um, accessibility icon apps. And then we have Clippy. Um, this is it where you can be able to see all of your copy texts. I also have Microsoft Teams, Microsoft PowerPoint, Microsoft OneNote, Outlook, Excel, and Word, which I don't use anymore because I'm not studying anymore. But sometimes for um, creating documents we actually use I actually use them but right now I rarely use them because I just recently graduated and we do have the Chrome um, recovery utility I also have Google kits and lists cloud flare or I don't know what this is for but they said this is a VPN that makes the internet faster so I downloaded it I also have CapCut which I use as my primary editing software, VLC for playing videos, and Discord which I don't use anymore as well. I've used this um, last time when I was, when I have this subject on my class and Firefox which I haven't opened. So those are the apps that you can see for my MacBook. So let's try to explore more with the widgets. Alright, I have the calendar and um, the world clocks. Other than that, I guess those are all the apps that I can just show you guys and exploring further this is what you can see when you have macbook the finder finder app messages you have photos reminders notes calculator this is what the calculator looks like on macbook to put them anywhere you like on the dock so that's all guys thank you for watching those are the things that I have in my MacBook but um, I feel sorry for this MacBook because I'm actually planning on selling this soon so I won't be able to use it anymore when it's already been sold I will be putting it up on my Facebook marketplace so if you guys are interested in buying this MacBook you can just message me on Facebook okay 
so i hope you guys have discovered something new with macbooks today and find this video very helpful don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe if you're not subscribed yet and leave a comment or video suggestion future video suggestions in order for me to create them thank you guys again for watching have a very blessed day see you guys on my next video bye sweet creatures